Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. This week I'm using the Simple Stories Boho Baby Collection in my planner. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I really wanted to use a set from Simple Stories called Boho Baby uh, for Charlotte's birthday week. Now I didn't get to do that because it didn't arrive quite in time, but it has arrived now and it's just gorgeous. I love, I just love the colors in this. So I'm just going to give you just a very quick little flick through of this paper. I love that. I, like, I love the blues. I'm just going to go one way and then the other because they're double sided. This is a 6x8 by eight, six by eight paper pad. So you sort of got patterns on one side and then something big and bold on the other. So it's just stunning. Uh, but I also then got two of the 12x12 12 12 papers. These ones are called the 3x4 and then the 2x2 and 4x4 elements. I just like having extra little elements to put on here. I also got the washi tape. I think that was it. I can't find anything else, but I may have put it away and forgotten. Um, so I thought I'd use it this week because I can and because it does, doesn't deserve to, get to sit in my craft room for another 12 months before it gets used. So I'm kind of stuck with what I want to do. I'm, I think I know, but I'm not quite sure. So we're going to try some things and just see where we end up. So the things I know I want to use, whoops, I know I want my scissors. Things I know I want to use. I want, and I feel rather wasteful doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I want this piece of paper because I really love this bookshelf. And I thought it would look really cute at the bottom of my Sunday or at the bottom of my page there if I sort of fussy cut out around that. And then I can put washi tape at the top and the bottom or paper at the top and the bottom. I haven't quite decided yet. The other thing I know I want to do, and I haven't decided if I want to use the My Sunshine or the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Do You Know How Loved You Are. And I'm leaning towards the Twinkle Twinkle because that's Charlotte's favorite song is Twinkle Twinkle to the point that I almost don't like singing it anymore because it's kind of anyone who has a kid will tell you that you get sick of the same songs on repeat and I am very 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 sick of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star at this point but I do love singing to her Twinkle Twinkle Little Star do you know how loved you are because I think that's cute so what I thought I would do would be have the Twinkle Twinkle and then I've got this little set of 6x4 photos that I've got of Charlotte and I thought I would stick one of these, I'm going to use my proper trick because I like it better, um, stick one of these to the back and then I can have like a little flipper but it's a flipper with Charlotte. I am leaning towards this one here with the brown shirt because I feel like it joins the colours better because it's this sort of brown and blue which is what this collection very much is. I just I thought that looked really cute and then if I stick something here and then all I need to do is just work out how I'm going to put this, oh I could just do it that way. I thought it was going to be a bit smaller than that. Okay, so I'm going to have that there, and then I just, I wonder, I was, I was very restrained with this collection, there are beautiful little die cuts and beautiful little bits and pieces, and I deliberately didn't get everything, I really wish I had of, I really wish I had of, because it is, I, I may still go and buy some more. So the problem I have with this bit is I love these little blocks, I think they're gorgeous, but I'm very scared to use them because they're on this gorgeous blue stars. But then I remember I've got the blue stars in the washi tape, so it's not so bad. So I'm just going to cut out some of these blocks. I'm just going to take a, a row of them and just cut them out quickly. I'm not being 100% perfect with them. I'm just taking that row off. So I'm just snip. Right up against the edge, snip, snip. I'm just going to cut a bunch of them out. 
which I'm kind of thinking I should have been a bit more careful. I'm just cutting out this A with a with the border around it just to see what the difference is and if I like it. I feel like on white paper I'm not going to tell the difference so I'm going to just make it easy on myself and just do just the just the actual edge but these aren't straight as in some of them are a bit curved some of them are a bit different so I'm just going to follow the, the whiteness around but just cut it off so there is no whiteness. I'm going to cut out all of these ones just where I've got the full ones, I'm not going to worry about the ones on the top and I might sort of make take another row off because I'll use these in more than just on this little flipper. A bit of glue tape on the back of the picture first. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to punch the holes so that way I know where this is going to sit. I want it to sit this way so that the twinkle twinkles on the is facing me most of the time, and then I can move it to the Charlotte side when I want to. So we'll put that. Just there like that. Oh, she makes me happy when she smiles like that. And then I'm going to put an A, B, C. I'm just trying to find a red B. There we go. Down the bottom like that. And then I'm just going to grab... Because, only because it's, it's in the middle, so it's a bit easier. Not in the middle, sorry. It's a bit easy to get to. I'm just going to grab this star because it also then ties in with the twinkle twinkle on the front and I don't mind that I didn't cut that out straight I'm just going to go around the blue oh it's so cute so I'll stick those down too so while I was cutting out all those things before I did cut out that bottom piece that I told you about I'm always hoping I have a piece of scrap paper hanging around but I never do I'm just gonna put glue tape across the back of this so this is gonna be slightly wider than my page but I'll just cut off the excess so I think I'm gonna try and make it sit so that the rabbit is right on the side but I'm just gonna pull him down as far as I possibly can so I can try and avoid having to punch him and if I then have to cut just a little bit off the, the bunting at the bottom I'm okay with that so it's just this little bit of 
the blocks on the side that I need to cut off, not much at all. And then a very, 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 very thin little spot of the bunting at the bottom, which is fine. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so then on the bottom, I don't want to use the flower, I know that. So I've got the rainbows, I've got the stars, and I've got, I really want to use the thin one on the top. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put the stars because I just feel like it fits the stars better. Have a look at it and if I don't like it, I'm just going to pull the rainbows and just have a look. I like the rainbows. I knew I would. I knew I'd like the rainbows. So I'm going to have the rainbows, but I'm going to put them right at the bottom here and I'll just cut off the excess white so that they sit right on the bottom of my page. Before I trim off the excess, I'm going to do the top. I'm actually going to, I was going to say I'm going to leave the April, but I don't think I will. This isn't going to be wide enough, but if I cover, if I do a double layer it will be. So I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe the April out and then put the spots on the bottom line. Whoops. And then also put it on the top and it'll sort itself out. I'm just trying wherever I can to not double up the tape because then you get a sort of thick or like darker looking line and I just want to avoid it if I can. So I'll go ahead and do that on both sides, cut off the excess and I'll be right back. so much. So then to cover up the days, I thought I'd use these Barney and Moon ones. I thought originally that I'd use, and I actually, I think I'm going to stick with it, use these sort of orangey red ones. It grabs hold of the, the colours that are sort of in the, in the pots and the rainbows. So using this one here, I'm going to leave them black though. So rather than foiling them, which is what I would normally do with my Barney and Moons, I'm just going to leave them black they look just as good in the black. put in some sort of boxes of some kind. I'm just seeing again what I've got paper wise that's a bit plainer. I really do like that stripe. Let me grab that out. The sad thing is I have to ruin that side but you get two so it's not not the end of the world. I'm not losing my little letters that I cut out though because I'm going to sprinkle these in a minute. They're sort of going to be my confetti. So I'm just going to work out how wide I want my boxes. This is where sometimes it's good to get your plan a week out and just have a look at how your how wide your other boxes are. So my PA ones are like three and a half. So I'm actually going to cut these to four. I'm going to go that way because I feel like I'm wasting less. I don't know how that's wasting less, but it just feels like it. 
sometimes you look at things and you just go, are you sure that's straight? And you just can't tell. It's definitely not straight. It's only just out, but it's still not straight. Okay. And then I know I want to cut these to be the same size as my boxes. So that's four and a half. I did actually end up cutting this to four and a half. It's just an extra little bit of washi tape that I'm just going to use to hold this still. I'm actually going to cut it slightly less than four and a half, but it's pretty close. That way I can use my tool here to help me out. So I'm just going to push that in there. Yes, I like that. That's the right I might be just a little bit wide, but if that's the case, I can always trim it down. I always feel bad for wasting paper, but at the same time, at least I know it's, it's too hard to add paper, but you can easily cut it away. So makes it easier. I'm not going to get rid of this little bit either. I'm going to hold on to it. So I'm going to put, yeah, I need to cut that down just a little bit. So I'm just going to take half an inch, sorry, a quarter of an inch, basically just one of my little squares. So I'm just removing, replacing, sorry, my little bit of tape here. And that way I've got an edge to push it against. I'm just gonna make sure that they're all going the same way and I've got them the same direction. I'm just going to cut that little bit off all three. I'm also going to cut that little bit off that little spare bit I had because that's actually going to make a really good quarter box. If I can find where it went. There it is. Okay. That's better. And then even I think that's too busy. So we can't write on that. But I can put a little bit of white paper on top of it and leave the border there. So it's gonna look like a sticker, even though it's not. So just grabbing a piece of scrap paper, or not scrap, actually it's too thick of paper. That's my good paper. Just like I've got really thick 120 and then I've got another pile that's not quite as nice. So I just like to get the pile that's not quite as nice. So I'm gonna use that same mark and just cut it a quarter smaller. And that way I'll get that nice little thing around the edge. I'm just gonna do the same thing here. Okay, that's too small. It's all right, I've got plenty of paper. I'm easily going to get my three out of here and then that bit that I messed up I can trim that to be that small bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick that all together and then put them down on my page and I'll be right back. I'm just having a look at what I've still got here and then if I want to bring in anything else so 
so that's when I'm going to bring, I think I'm happy, this is when I'm then going to grab these little bits of those blocks and just as much as I can I'm going to scatter them but very well aware of the fact that it may not end up perfect, I may need to cut a few more but I'm also just trying to keep not too many A's on one side, not too many B's on the other etc etc so just randomly putting them out. Some of these have got little rainbows instead so I'm going to use those, some of them have got moons, some of them have got stars. I'm also going to make sure that I get some behind where that sits. I don't know why I have more C's. I've got two extras, two more C's than anything else. Oh, bugger. I did not mean to do that. I'm sure someone's sitting there going, what did you do that for? I know there was a B. I thought there was a B. So if I can't find any more of what I want, just having a quick look through my scraps to make sure I didn't... Oh, there's one. That's the B. And then rather than sticking these all down with my glue tape, which would be fine, I'm going to run these through my Xyron. I'm going to run them through my Xyron machine. I'm going to put them in with my tweezers because that way I can sort of stack them a little bit. But this is just a little bit easier than using glue tape. Well, oh, it's not really easier. It's just different. But I feel like I get less mess this way. And what I did was I really quickly took a picture of where everything was. So I was really happy with the way it all sat and that way when I stick it all back down I'll just put my phone on and I can just look at where everything was. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and again I'll be right back. So from there all I need to do is just put my regular um, regular stickers in. That's something you guys have seen plenty of times before so I don't think I need to worry about it. Just a little bit of that star hanging off there. I love this. I think it's so cute. It's not something I gravitate towards normally. I usually stay so far away from baby collections. But there was something about this one. I really loved the mustard. And the, and the red, I just, I thought it was a very, I don't know how to explain it, a very grown up baby collection, if that makes any sense. And I loved the blocks, I thought they were really cute. I do need to get more of this. I, I have a group of people that are all having babies right now that I think this collection makes some really pretty baby cards, so I need to get them, I need to get it for that reason alone. I want to get some of the die cuts. I thought that paper pad would have a little bit more die cuts, like you could, that stuff you could cut out. Um, sadly it doesn't, but that's okay. That's why you can get the die cuts on their own. Uh, if you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you'd like to see more stuff using this collection. 
uh, maybe some baby cards, maybe a baby memory decks, maybe a baby journal page, maybe something using this collection that isn't a baby. I don't know whether I could do that. I could try. Leave it down below or of course you can find me on my socials. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your day and a great, great week and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.